this is the step up. So first, to make sure we're set up correctly, I'm gonna have Greg put his foot up on the box. We want at the highest, the starting position, for your knee to be in line with your hip, ideally just a little bit lower than your hip. We never want your knee to be really, really high in a bunch of hip flexion, because you're gonna have to use a lot of oomph to get there and not be able to really push in the box like we want you to be able to. So Greg's gonna take the kettlebell, hold it in the gobble position, putting his foot on top of the box, driving through his right leg to stand up all the way on the box. Good, same thing, lower down nice and controlled so he's not just falling down on the ground, getting a lot of compression forces in his knees. He's really just keeping that whole foot flat on the box, pushing as hard as he can, standing straight up. Again, keeping that good, nice mid-range spine position. He can also load it with a double kettlebell. Tons of abs with this one. Again, front foot totally flat, leaning forward, pushing through the box, standing straight up. Nice control up and down the whole time. If this is too hard, we can get rid of all the weights or we can lower the box, that's not a problem at all. Some of the ways people make mistakes with this one is they'll oomph up, so if Greg doesn't really push through his right foot, he's trying to get his left leg that's on the ground, that's really his dry foot. We want your dry foot to be the right leg, the foot on top of the box with this one. And again, he's doing a great job of leaning forward, keeping his whole foot flat, he's not going to his toes or doing anything funky like that.